The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. A number of current, former, and future BSU women's hockey players had joined the U.S. Women's National Team's boycott of the upcoming World Championships this weekend. When members of the women's national team began boycotting the World Championships, that's when USA Hockey began searching for replacement players, such as BSU's Alexis Joyce, Emily Berglund, and freshman recruits Mac Lange and Claire DeGeorge. On the one hand, I, I told them, I said, it's, it's thrilling that USA Hockey thought enough of you to, to reach out and ask for your information, which is what they did. But on the other hand, I knew it was just a, to get kind of caught up in the middle of something that was so much bigger than themselves. And uh, it, it, I just knew it was a tough situation because all of them aspire to be a part of that program. And that's, that's a goal of, of, every, of every player at our level is to, is to represent their country if, if they can. And, and so here they're getting an opportunity, but the opportunity is not the one that they, they certainly will, will you know, wanted to be in. The boycott came to light because of stalled negotiations with USA Hockey over fair compensation, support, and marketing, especially compared to the U.S. men's national team, something former Beaver Stephanie Anderson, a member of Team USA's player pool, has been close to since the beginning. It was a long process, but I think everyone, everything went the way that you know we wanted to, and it was uh, planned out perfectly for when we wanted to make the decision. With the click of one button, Joyce, Berglund, and Lange sent out this tweet, all saying they would not participate in this year's World Championships. This was not a time to be selfish, and we had to think about that and say, you know what, this isn't about me. If I'm a good enough player and if I make myself a good enough player, I'll get my opportunity um, when I'm not a second player second up or second choice. Saying no, I think too, is a big thing. Like you're standing with all the other girls of women's hockey, like you're representing something so much bigger than saying yes, that was for your own personal decision. But that doesn't mean the decision to say no came easy. It's been a dream since I was little to throw a USA jersey on and be able to represent my country. And um, it's very hard to be able to say no to them because you don't know if saying no is taking you off their radar or putting you on a bad side for them because you went against them and stood up for the other side. According to a report from the USCHO, they were among 37 players refusing to play for USA Hockey. Their voices were heard loud and clear, and last night a new deal was agreed upon. All along they wanted to go to Worlds so bad, but they just they knew that this was so much more important in taking the right step uh, in the right direction. And uh, they got they got it done, and we stuck together, and that's that's what the most important thing is. Which they all say is a giant step in the right direction for women's hockey. It's good to see that women's hockey is finally getting a little more recognition. We did this for the generations below us. I know we're probably not going to benefit from it as much as the generations below us coming up through the USA program. Um, so we did this for all of them. It's obviously good for the future because obviously stuff needed to change. So I guess it's good to see that like. Things are making progress in the women's hockey world. We've put ourselves on the map and deserve some recognition, and they've got what they've deserved, and I'm very happy for them. And even though they won't be competing in this year's world championships, this opportunity has given them more motivation for the next time around. It was a good feeling to know that we're on their radar and we were worthy enough to even get the email, um, but it definitely drives us a little more in this offseason to say, like, you got to really push yourself because if you want to reach your dreams of playing for the national team, like this is this is where you got to do it. And yeah, they've been taking looks at you, but obviously you haven't done enough yet to say I demand a spot on this team. So going into next season, I think both of us have an opportunity to demand a spot. And with the New Deal, Team USA will proceed in the Women's World Championships this weekend. Their first game of the tournament will be Friday against Canada. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.